time now for our focus report, which this Tuesday looks at an unusual war of soft fruits. America's increasing appetite for smoothies and antioxidant fruits means business is booming for Mexico's berry growers. But for their U.S. counterparts, cheap labor and state subsidies south of the border are proving tough competition. Our colleagues at France 2 Television report with Wassim Corne here at France 24. An ocean of plastic in the plains of the state of Jalisco in Mexico. Greenhouses as far as the eye can see, covering this region's gold mine. But in this part of the world, the gold is blue, like these blueberries. And it can also be red, like these raspberries. Each year, Mexico sells 1 billion euros worth of berries to the United States. But is this country effectively drowning the American production of berries? Here's how this trade war is playing out between the two countries. On the U.S. side of the border, strawberry producers are angry. Carl Grooms owns more than 170 acres of farmland, and he says Mexican competition is impossible to handle. Since they've allowed it to become an open market, mm -hmm. they don't have two or 3,000 acres. They've got 30,000 acres down there. They got subsidies helping support those farms. We don't have that here in the United States. If we don't make it with our crop, we don't survive. Florida strawberries have become too expensive. And adding to the irony is the heavy presence of Mexican citizens working in the strawberry fields of Florida. The more fruit they pick, the more money they make. We get paid in dollars here. We don't make anything in Mexico. That's why there are so many of us who come to work here. But a salary paid in dollars means the cost of labor is much higher than in Mexico. They don't pay but 10 percent of that down there. Now that guy's going to make about $10 in Mexico and he's going to make $100 here. So go figure. Who's paying the most? We are. Carl Grooms has already sold a quarter of his property. On the left over here, we have the development for more warehouses. Warehouses where strawberries used to grow, whereas in Mexico over the past 10 years, the amount of land dedicated to growing berries has been multiplied by three. Agustin Medinilla is 34 and he owns a raspberry farm and he exports those raspberries to the United States. These raspberries are big and this is the firmness and color consumers want. It's perfect for the American market. Raspberries are picked on a daily basis for more than 10 months each year. In the U.S., raspberries are a seasonal fruit. Harvesters are paid 10 to 15 euros per day. Agustin's parents used to grow tomatoes and peppers. He's chosen a more profitable path. A two kilogram crate of raspberries has a production cost of about five euros. We sell that same crate for about 10 euros. So we make a 100% profit on average. In Mexico, there are even more profitable options. These fields are among the jewels of Jalisco. They produce organic blueberries year-round. Once picked, these berries will find themselves in American supermarkets in less than three days. This buyer has traveled from Texas to strike a deal with the farm. The potential is huge because, as you are seeing, the quality is very good. Uh, the taste is very good. It's a very good quality. This supplier meets with seven importers each week, and demand is high. I want to sell each crate for about 20 euros. That's double the price of raspberries. Blueberry production is one of the most profitable industries in the country. But when Americans complain about unfair competition, here's what this Mexican farm owner has to say. Hold on, this jacket comes from the United States, this shirt, these shoes, and my trousers too. We buy their products, so they can't complain about us exporting our fruit. Each year, the demand for blueberries in the United States continues to grow. Berry producers are now demanding protectionist measures to be enforced. Berries have become a new symbol of discord between the two countries. Well, that focus report on that berry battle between the U.S. and Mexico can be viewed in full once again on our website. I'm back at the top of the hour with more headlines, news and analysis from across the globe here on France 24. Do stay tuned.